Have you ever had these green spots on your nails if you're ever wearing press ons or acrylics? This video is to tell you what that is, how to treat it, and then how to move forward after you have. Welcome back, sis. If you're new here, my name is Raven, and I'm a fashion stylist and content creator. I love to teach women how to be bad you on a budget, honey. Hashtag bougie on a budget through fashion hauls, fashion lookbooks, travel, press on nail reviews, and beauty. So this isn't like one of my normal press on nail videos. In this video, we're getting kind of serious. Getting down to the brass tacks, the ugly side of press on nails, if you will. I have gone through this, so I don't know if you have gone through this, and I don't want you to go through it and not know what it is or how to treat it. It is called whatever this thing here, however you pronounce this word, okay? It is when your nails turn green underneath your press-on nails. So I don't know about you, sis. But lately, I have noticed that sometimes, especially when I'm wearing negative space nails, I can see condensation, a little, you know, water, a little moisture, if you will, underneath my nails. And I was just like, you know, it is what it is. It'll dry and it'll be fine. No, it will not be fine. Okay. No, I'm not about to lose my nails. No, they're not about to come off or anything like that. But it can lead to that. If you do not treat it and so that's why I'm here to let you know about this word so just a little backstory of how I found out that I have Sue J Monas I think that's what it's called anyways I had taken my nails off maybe the last set not this past set but the set before that I think and I noticed like I had a little green spot on my nail and I was like okay whatever that's weird keep it pushing then I noticed as you know, I don't know about y'all, but my nails be popping off here and there. Okay, got to keep the glue in the purse at all times. I noticed that I had some more green spots and I was like, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, what is going on with my nails? I'm going to have to like amputate my whole hand or something. Like what is happening? So I went over to the Googles, okay, and found out that it is Sudemonas this word it is a bacteria that grows somewhere on your nails i don't know if it's on your nail under your nail what i think it's on your nail because if it was under that would be the whole situation so it's a bacteria that grows on top of your nail which turns it green so the environment in between your nail and the fake nail whether it's acrylic or press ons when the moisture gets in there it breeds an environment to where the bacteria can grow so from my reading, this is a common bacteria that is in most households. It's just a common household bacteria is what they're saying. You know how everything has like organisms or microorganisms pretty much everywhere. I guess that's what this bacteria is. And if you create a situation in which it can grow and turn into something, I guess, I don't really know, which is what happens between your nail and fake nail. As a result, you get green spots on your nail. So it's wherever the fungus has grown, it can get to the point where it's black or dark green. Thankfully, mine did not get there because once I saw on a few nails that they were like had these little like light green spots, all the nails came off. Raven is playing no games with these press on nails, okay? At all whatsoever. We ain't playing no games with them. So in my research, I also figured out how to treat them. It is very easy as long as you do not let it fester or get to a certain point. It is easy to stop it in its tracks very quickly and almost immediately. So for treatment, all you have to do is make sure that your nails are dry and clean, okay? You can add an antibacterial ointment or an antifungal onto your nails. They have tons of them that just pretty much go on like nail polish. I just use my triple antibiotic ointment, put it on there just as an added precaution because the first time I saw it, I didn't really do anything much with it because I didn't know what it was. I just thought like maybe my nails were a little discolored and I just kept it pushing. The second time I was like, we're taking all of the precautions. We're cleaning our nails, making sure they're dry and 
adding the triple antibiotic ointment because we're not playing any games with these nails over here, okay? The bad thing is you cannot treat the stain that the bacteria causes. So the green spot that the bacteria causes, there's no way to get rid of it. You can't, I guess maybe you can bleach your nails or something. I don't know. I don't think people do that, but there's no way to get rid of it. You have to let the nail grow out and that's it. But the green stain does not mean that the bacteria is still there. Okay. So don't think just because the stain is there, the bacteria is there. You have caught it. You've contained it. You have diminished it or whatever, like you've gotten rid of it. And the stain is just the result of it being there in the first place. So the first time I saw it, the nail has pretty much grown out. It's now just kind of like on the side. It is a lot lighter than it was when I first saw it. It wasn't dark green or anything like that, but it was very like lightish color green. Now you could barely tell that there's like anything there. I know, so I can see it. Um, this one here, that's the one I saw and was like, wait a minute, what is this? Because my nails did not look like this when I put the press ons on. So we got to figure out what this is. So this one has started to fade a little bit. I'm praying that it fades more as my nail does grow out. But again, I have to wait for my nail to grow out for the green spot to be done. So once you've treated, what to do next? Once you've treated it and all of the bacteria is gone, you can again resume wearing your press-on nails, your acrylic nails, or even just nail polish. It isn't something that you have to wait till the green literally grows out before you can put on your press-on nails or your nail polish again. So thankfully, you can still be a baddie out here, okay? Even if you have some green spots underneath. I decided to give my fingernails a rest for a little bit. I do have a party coming up in a couple of days. So I'm probably gonna have to pop these nails on and keep it pushing because we gotta be cute. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do an acrylic on them or a gel extension or something instead of the press-ons because with the press-ons they let a lot more moisture in versus when I get like a gel extension. So I might do those instead, we'll see. But yeah, just be careful of these. I wanted to do this video so you would see what happens, what are some of the downsides of wearing press-ons. You know I'm a press-on baddie for life, honey, so I will not stop wearing press-ons, but I will be putting together measures or preventative measures to make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future or that I'm able to catch it before it gets too bad. But I'm hoping that this video helps you and that you can now notify the signs of when you have on your nails and you can really treat it before it gets out of hand because let me tell you you do not want to remove a fingernail ever in life okay i've had to do it before not because of this but it ain't fun okay and it takes forever to grow out i'll be sure to leave links to the articles that i found in the description box below so you can do your own research and read up on how to treat this if you do have it or how to prevent it from happening to you in the near or distant future and if you want to join the tribe of baddies on a budget be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time i post a new video and here's a video picked specifically for you